Hey you guys, it's Dr. Sharelove here. I'm with you again to give you some good knowledge about ingredients that are in your hair care products, the good, the bad, and the ugly. And watch the whole video because I'm going to give you instructions on how you can win one of my favorite shampoos. It's uh, Carol's Daughter's Manoy shampoo. I love it. And I'm going to give you directions on how you can win it. But let's go ahead and dive on in here. Don't be distracted as I go. I have notes down that I, from the research that I've done. I just don't want to miss anything. I want to make sure I give you guys everything. And hang in there because these names of these chemicals are crazy. And I'm going to put them in the description box for you so that as you look through your hair care products and you buy stuff, you can recognize these names and know what you want in there and what you don't want in there. Okay, so silicones. Pros, they help combat frizz and they help detangle your hair. Cons, some don't really dissolve well in water. So unless you're using a clarifying shampoo or a shampoo with ingredients that are strong enough to clean them off, they're just gonna build up. But any product will build up over time if you don't wash your hair and clean it off. If you use coconut oil every day and you slather it on there, it's gonna build up. So nothing is wrong with silicones. You just gotta make sure you know how to use them everything with moderation the good silicones are the water soluble silicones that's behenoxy dimethicone and steroxy dimethicone those ones feel free to do whatever you want you can even use a sulfate free shampoo or even a gentle cleansing shampoo and they should come off bad news is they're not really commonly found in hair care products Normally the ugly ones are, but we'll get there. Um, the bad silicones are the ones that just build up over time. They don't build up really quickly, but over time they build up. And those are cyclomethicone, amodimethicone, cyclopentasiloxane, and other crazy names that I'm not gonna even get into right now, but they'll be in the description for you. And then next up are the ugly silicones, or the silicones that are water insoluble, and they build up really quickly on the hair. These are the ones that are in most of your hair products, unfortunately. That's dimethicone, cetyl dimethicone, dimethiconol, cedarol methicone, and sterol dimethicone. Um, but like I said, the key is moderation. And uh, silicones work really well to lock that moisture in for you. You can go ahead and put your coconut oil on or your moisturizing products first, and then lock it in with a product that contains a silicone. I really like um, the organic brand of the Argan Oil of Morocco Penetrating Oil. It feels really good, leaves my hair feeling really soft, but it also has dimethiconol and dimethicone in it to try to help seal that moisture in for you so it doesn't just evaporate away. So I like it. Key is knowing how to use these products and the chemicals and the ingredients that are in them. Next up, oh, and on in the description box, I'm going to go ahead and leave uh, different shampoos that are gentle cleansers, but strong enough to clean off that silicone for you, okay? I suggest that you wash your hair with one of these at least once a week. Don't be afraid to wash your hair. Water's good for getting moisture in. The number one ingredient, number one on all the conditioners is water because it's natural and it gets moisture in there. Okay, next up are sulfates. I said it, sulfates, ugh, they're really not that bad if you know the right ones. The good ones are the ones that have loreth in there, sodium loreth sulfate and ammonium loreth sulfate. These ones are good because the particles are bigger and they don't get into your skin pores and your hair pores. They're bigger, they don't cause irritation so much, they're not as harsh. However, the ugly sulfates, the harsh ones that everyone's trying to stay away from, those are sodium lauryl sulfate and ammonium lauryl sulfate. Those ones are very tiny, so the particles fit into your hair and skin pores and can cause irritation. Um, they're really strong and harsh. Honestly, there are a lot of cleansers out there that aren't as harsh. So there's kind of no need to really use these harsh sulfates. However, some people have been using them for forever and their hair's fine. They haven't had a problem. So just do what works best for you. Um, next up are alcohols. Some alcohols are very moisturizing and then others are very drying. Um, the alcohols you might want to stay away from that actually dry really quickly are the ethanol, um, isopropyl alcohol. And uh, let's see, there's some other ones. Propanol. 
propyl alcohol. Um, these ones are the ones that dry out hair. They're the short chain alcohols. And the reason people even use them in chemistry is because they help your things after you're done using them and you clean them. It helps them dry fast. You don't have to wait for forever. Um, that's why they're in some hair care products because some people's hair takes really long to dry and they put these in it to help speed the drying process. However, it does dry out the hair. So if you want that moisture in, stay away from those ugly alcohols. But there are some good ones. There's a lot of good ones. And if you see these in your shampoos and conditioners and other hair products, you're good to go. Load up on them. Let's see. There's propylene glycol and there's benzyl alcohol. And then the fatty chain as, uh, alcohols are laurel alcohol, acetyl alcohol, maristi alcohol, sterile alcohol, cedarol alcohol. There's a lot. I'll put them in the description for you. But they're good. Load up on them. They give your hair nice moisture. Next up are parabens. Parabens, parabens, parabens. You're seeing it everywhere. Paraben free, paraben free this, paraben free that. But what's a paraben? It's like a fancy word. It's like, it's a preservative. Fancy word for a preservative basically. And they're easy to recognize because they all end in paraben. Um, let's see. Those are common ones that you might see in your hair products are methylparaben, ethylparaben, propylparaben, and butylparaben. Um, so why are people shying away from these whenever they're just like preservatives? Um, they're in there because they want to try to cut down on bacteria building up in your cosmetics and your hair care products. Because who wants to put on like, you know, bacteria filled eyeshadow and eyeliner and conditioner and shampoo? Nobody. Um, so if they're that good, why are people hiding from them? Why are people staying away from them? Well. Parabens are weak estrogen. Parabens weakly mimic estrogen, I'm sorry. And estrogen has been linked to breast cancer. Um, parabens have not been linked specifically to any type of cancer yet. There's different studies out there. The jury's still out. Nothing's been able to prove that they are linked to causing breast cancer. However, since they do weakly mimic estrogen and estrogen has been linked to breast cancer, if you have a history of breast cancer in your family, you may want to stay away from them. You know, to each his own. If you want to cut out that risk, more power to you. Hair and knowing what you are putting in your hair and what are, is actually in your hair care products is the key to you getting healthy hair. You don't want to put something in it that's going to do the opposite of what you want for your hair. So know your ingredients, know what is what you are putting on your hair and get your hair the healthiest that it possibly can be. I hope this helped you out. Um, I have a competition going on. I'm actually gonna go ahead and give away one of my favorite shoes. The Carol's Daughter Minoy Shampoo. I love it. It cleanses silicones out, cleans really well, gets my hair clean so all the buildup's gone. But it does not dry my hair out extremely, so I like it. And I'm gonna go ahead and give it away to one lucky winner. Um, what you wanna do, subscribe, Tag at least two friends in the comments down below. You can tag as many as you want, the more the merrier. Someone that you think will benefit from watching this video and benefit from my channel in general. Someone that wants healthy, beautiful hair and skin and everything, healthy life. Go ahead, tag them down there. I'm gonna give you guys five days. You got five, 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 five days. At 9 a.m., I'm gonna go ahead and announce the winner. So go ahead and get started. Get tagging, get subscribing. And remember, share love.